y'all. I'm like, I'm Kate. And we are the, the potential, potential. And we are, ooh, ooh. We are, ooh. ooh. I'm sorry, I had a shock and pain. shaking the table. Um, we're I, back. We're like, we're sassy. We're cute. We're hot and that's a boo. And then that great hair. hair. The boys are I like to stare. stare. I'm on it. I'm, I'm hot. hot. I'm, I'm everything and not to, to, to Torrance. Uh uh. You can look, but don't you hump. Woo. I made you. I roar. I, I swear, swear I'm not, not a whore. whore. We cheer and we leap. We act like we're on speed. Hate us because we're beautiful, but we don't like you either. With, With your leaders. leaders. Yeah. We are your leaders. Roll He's big red. Stop playing with me. All right. So we are back with another tag, and this tag is called the Love Tag. Cause we love y'all. Let us know what tag y'all want us to do down in the comments below, and let us know what other tag in February. Let us know what other challenges and tags y'all want us to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to everybody that you know and are on all For real, social, don't just let us social say media platforms. Three. Follow and us on Instagram so and Twitter. And Wait, first make sure you hit that notification bell at least one time. And then follow no. us on Instagram and Twitter no. at underscore the potential underscore. Follow us first. And follow then. us on Snapchat at the potential two, the number two. Because obviously we want to chat. Okay, first question. The love tag, y'all. What's the first question? First question is, do you believe in love at first sight? To a certain extent. I feel like you can look at somebody and be like, oh my God, I love them. I want them to be, I want to be with them. I want to have a child with them. Like, oh my God, I can see a life with them. Like whatever, whatever. But once that person opens their mouth or you really get to know them, then it may, um, it, it, it may go away. But as far as you seeing them at first sight, like, oh my God, like I can see a life with you. I do believe in that. I believe in love at first sight. I don't think it happens to everyone, but I think a select few of people can't fall, like, do fall in love at first sight. Like, I've never personally did it, but I think it happens. It's rare, but I think it does happen. I think somebody can look at that person like, I love them. Now, do the other person love you back? I don't know. I think it's rare, though, but I think it can happen. I love you. Um, I loved you at first sight. Like, oh, it don't have to be like a relationship because you can love a baby at first sight. Like. I feel like a mother always loves their child. Well, not all mothers, but a lot of mothers love their child at first sight. Like. Do you have a mother in mind that you want to... But I feel like a lot of mothers love their child before they even hear. Yeah, that's true. What is your favorite love quote? That's hard because I'm going to just have quotes. Love quote. When I think of love quote, I would think of like a quote out of a song. Why did I get up like this, y'all? <laughs> it's not a song. It's a quote. It's a you could quote a song. It's like that's the whole point. Um, I listen to so many love songs. I could easily, like, okay. Come on. I don't have a favorite, but I can give y'all one that I like. Let's do favorite love song. Or oh, you have a quote. No, I have a quote. Okay, what's your quote? I don't. It's not necessarily my favorite. I would have to really go through some quotes and figure out my favorite. But I do like this quote, so I can share it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's. I think it goes like. You think? I hope it goes. It's. I don't know exactly the first part, of it, but it's like the greatest gift of life is to love and to be loved. Or the greatest gift life can give you is to love and to be loved. That's sweet. Because. You can have all the money in the world. You can have everything in your possession that you want and need. But the greatest gift that life can give you is to have someone to love you and, to, and to, for you to express love to other people. It just feels good. Everybody wants to be loved. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's the greatest gift that you can have and receive is love. Okay, but that's one of the... Y'all tell me how exactly that quote go, but it's something like that. So what's yours? Well, I wouldn't say a love quote, but I would say a love song, something that's real powerful. Mm -hmm. We was just speaking about it, Beyonce's All Night. That song just has so much love and strength and just like we are together, like we love each other, like we done been through some stuff. Like, I found I found the whatever she said beneath the lies. I found the whatever beneath your lies. Find the truth. Oh, I found the truth beneath the lies, and true love never, never has to hide. Like you, I, you trade your broken wing for mine. Like that, that whole song is just like mm -hmm. it just make you wanna be. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, that's an in love song. You yeah. gotta really love. Like the that's a love. Lo- that's the love. Like that's real love right. because love is not all lovey dovey gooey gooey. You know, it's like not. Yeah. So the the whole thing about love is people be like, oh, I want to find somebody to live and be in love with and do all this happiness stuff. When a gag is what's the gag kicks? You just supposed to find somebody to go through the tough times with. That's how you know it's real. Right. You can always find anybody to go through you the happy times with. You know what? I just had it. a revelation. It's about finding love somebody to go through all this bullshit with. Love is about finding someone to be with while you go through this life. Right. All right. Like you picking a person. You're choosing to right. be with this person. That's why I don't understand why people cheat. Next question. Should we look for love, wait for love, or forget about love till it happens? I definitely think you should put yourself in positions to where it, it it almost feels like you're looking for love, but you're not. Like, when I say that, I mean, carry yourself a certain way. Speak a certain way. Carry yourself around certain people. Do certain things. Do different stuff because you never know who you're going to run into when you do things like that. So, never keep yourself in the box. So, that's kind of looking for, but it's kind of like it's finding yourself. It's like it's fine. You're putting yourself in a position. You're making an, an intentional purpose to put yourself in situations to, to where loved. love will find you. Yeah, to be loved and be loved the right way. Right. Uh, that's what I think. I think what you should do first is love yourself. Because can't nobody love you until you accept and love yourself wholeheartedly. I was watching this movie, and it's an older movie. It's called Penelope. And oh, I like that movie. And she had the curse. And she was looking for somebody to marry her that was the same as her. Because the curse was, until somebody loves you like this, accepts you all the way, mm-hmm. your, your own kind. Mm-hmm. So she thought it was, oh, a blue-blooded American with a lot of money and thought that if he married her and accepted her, that the curse would go away. Mm-hmm. When the whole time all she had to do was accept and love herself. Right. So I feel like that's the most important thing. And once you do that, it's not about looking, waiting, or forgetting. Live, you living your life. You're doing what you have to do. And guess what? That right person will come and love you for you. Like... You know what I'm saying? It, I don't think it's about looking, love, waiting, or any of that. Like, you just live your life, love yourself, and when the time is right, the time will be right. And that person going to love you right because you love yourself right. And you know what you're going to stand for, what you're not going to stand for. And they're not going to play gonna, with you because right. you're not playing. They're exactly. going to feel it. Right. So, and just be open. Don't be closed because when you're close-hearted, people can feel it. So you could say, oh, I'm looking for love, I'm waiting for love, but you could have this exterior to where people are like, I can't get in. And you'll be like, well, why I'm not finding nobody? You have to be open. Does age matter in love? Not no. To me. Not to me. Not at all. Should it be legal? Yes. Yes. Make sure that it is <laughs> but legal. But as far as a gap or whatever, it does. who cares? Like, who cares? And I'm going to tell you something. Because some people mature differently. So if you're a, a younger woman and you find an older man, but y'all on this, y'all got the same head space and, and y'all love each other for each other, why do y'all have to be the same age? The only person that should be the same age is students. And I'm and I'm and I'm gonna tell you something else. So, and this may kind of be like a different answer. Y'all know I'm different. When sometimes these younger girls get with these older older men and they get with them for their money and stuff. Okay. It may not be genuine from one end, but y'all don't like y'all don't understand because y'all have never been in that old man's situation, mm-hmm. and that may be the love that he's deciding to have. Love comes in different and, forms. We're talking about legally, like legally. I, legally I mean, young, I mean, like, like an 18, 18 19, 20 year old dealing with like a uh, 40, 40 or 30, 35. 30 that, something. That's the that they may feel like. You know, I'll do these things or whatever. It may not be genuine on one end, but they may that may be love to them. That and may be what makes them happy. certain people have certain mindsets. Let me yeah. tell y'all, some of these thirty-five-year-old men didn't mature till they was thirty-four. Hmm. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of these people grow together. Like, you know, an eighteen-year-old girl may have the mindset of a twenty-six-year-old, and a thirty. Three-year-old man may have the mind of a 26-year-old and they grow together. You get what I'm saying? So, I can't necessarily say, oh, you too old for her. In which way? You get what I'm saying? Right. Because their mindset may be the same. Their heart may be the same. You can't tell nobody how their heart is. As long as it's legal. If that person has a good heart, I don't care. 
you know, and, and you're attractive. Don't get with nobody because you oh you just for the money. money he owed them. Right. If you are genuinely attracted to a 55 year old man, then who am I to say that that's not love? Right. You get what I'm saying? So and I don't if think you're, age matters. And if you're not, love. and if you're not attracted, don't be shysty. If they if they decide to choose you and deal with you in that way, mm -hmm. that may be the love that they're seeking. So right. that's a different form of love. But don't be you know shysty about yeah, it. Yeah, let them let, let, let them, them find choose another one. If it's not genuine, let them choose to right. be with you or to not be with you. But if you're in love, some of them do. age does not matter. Period. Unless they're underage. They're underage. Then you need to wait need, wait it out. Because Nikki. Okay. How do you not get jaded by love? I don't know what jaded means. Can we skip the question? I don't know, but I feel like it's like hurt or like messed up. I have a college degree and I don't know what jaded means. I feel like it's hurt or messed up. I've heard jaded. that word jaded. Heard I feel like Dawn Rashard used that word before. She probably has. But I feel like I think that's what it means. So what I would say is everybody. Honestly. Her. How you gonna know? What? Okay, let's see what jaded means. What does jaded mean? Jaded means tired. Oh, tired boy. I had the wrong thing. Okay. The wrong thing. The word of the day is jaded. What does it jaded, mean? Jaded, tired, bored, or having lack of enthusiasm to something or someone. I okay, guess. so question. Um, how do you not get jaded by love? Um, my thing is, it's inevitable. This is just how I feel. It's I inevitable to not get to. To, to lose a certain amount of feeling. When I first got into a relationship, I was like head over heels, like so excited every time I saw them. And sometimes I'm still like that, but my point is you will have these moments where you don't have as much enthusiasm as you had before, or you're not as happy, or you're not as like, Sometimes you, sometimes they're, they have bored, bored moments and stuff like that. So I think it's inevitable, but the thing is, if you truly love that person, then y'all will find a way. Like, it's not going to be all peaches and cream. Sometimes y'all, may, it may, times may get hard where you have to work so much and that person have to work so much. And by the time y'all do see each other, y'all so tired and y'all go to sleep. Those are bored moments that y'all have, but y'all can work through them. And I feel like if you really love that person, you try. It's things that you do just to keep the relationship up. Okay, I kind of agree with you. Like, it's kind of inevitable. I kind of agree with it's you. It's not always enthusiastic. I kind of agree with you. But when, when the question says, how do you not, not get jaded? It's not I would say not. I would say that there is... You work through it. There is... A levelness of you not getting bored with a situation I would say with honesty I think a lot of people it starts off because people are not talking mm -hmm. so I do feel like there Maybe is a possibility I think I, I do feel like there is a possibility for you never to get bored but it just it would be it, it would be a work hard work as far as like oh well you know, Mike, we really need to switch up our scenery and stuff for you two because I'm starting to get bored in a different space. If you would have never said that, I would have never known. So that's so that's why that gap of you being bored and being tired and kind of being drained, that's why it happened. Well, but not if it would have, drained. but but I'm I'm just using an example. I'm saying, but if it was said, we was happy today on Monday, and then Tuesday you said, Michael, you know, we need to move forward and do something different then that gap would have never happened. So I feel like as long as I'm honest with you and you're honest with me, That's those gaps true, should too. never happen. But it, it just, those, it, it, life it's is life. life just is like life. somebody could say, just like somebody could say, oh, if you know what you want and you want to do something, you do it. You should never be unhappy in life. I don't necessarily think that's true. Because in your heart, you could want to be happy. In your, heart, in your heart, you could take steps to be happy in life and be honestly and truly fulfilled and happy in your heart. But some things can happen. And some things tend to happen no matter what you do. It's not about what happens. It's about how you that, work But that's through. not the question. Yeah, the question no, that's is the how, how to not, not be. 
And my answer so there is are ways to sometimes not be. it's inevitable, but it's about how you get through. I it. disagree with that. When when you get bored or so tired, a lot of people say, "Well, I'm I'm bored. I'm tired. I'm about to go to the next person." Sometimes you need to think deeply within yourself. Well, what can I do? First, you start off with yourself. What can I do to make the situation but that's what better? I say. Or what am I not, not feeling? Say. But I'm, what I'm saying is, you saying that it can never happen, but you just said that it's I'm bored. The thought, so it happened. So you thought, have to get bored thought, to even think about a thought. The thought, the thought of the thought of it is gonna happen, but then you need to execute and act on it immediately. No, it's not a thought. You because felt then this you're, way. It was because a then it's now it's happening. No, listen to what I'm saying. You felt this way in order for you to even think, what can I do to change it? I know, so that's but where that my point that it's is. Happening. It that's is happening. How was that a thought? How do you, if you if you're truly enthusiastic every time you see a person if you're truly in it you're not bored with some things that y'all do how do you feel a th how do you how is it a thought but i'm saying one day you can have a thought and be like so oh. okay so you're you're in a relationship mm -hmm. you're enthusiastic you're not jaded mm -hmm. you're just gonna think oh how can i feel i'm not bored no, no I'm you're saying not bored? the feeling could come on it but you don't want there to be a gap of it uh, actually happening that's what i'm saying is it, you don't have to have it linger but some in some period of time it may happen it's just what i'm saying is it's not gonna the just thought not happen in the moment of being jaded nobody is had i don't think that's what you're saying what, what i'm saying is i don't think anybody that's been in love has had a point where it's a, a period of time where they're where they don't feel that way i know but they could have avoided that period I don't think so. But they can't avoid the, a, th they they can't can avoid the they, thought. Listen to me. They can avoid the length of the period, but I don't think they can avoid a period. Whether it be a day, a whether period, it be two a days. A period and a thought is not the same thing, Kayla. That's what I'm saying. But nobody's going to think of something if it's not happening. You're not going to think of how can I make this person feel better if they're not already sad. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So they can avoid the length of it. You can avoid 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 feeling bored for two weeks by nipping it in the bud the first day, but it still happened the first day. This that one is question is a video. Um, and also <laughs> I want to say, uh, I, you know, we've also seen Love Jones. If you haven't, you need to go see it. And I think it. um, Lorenz Tate character says something about when people say they fell out of love or. Or something like that. It's not that. It's just that they exhausted the possibilities. Love is possibility. So you do this and you do that. And, and that's possible. And that's possible. So when somebody says they're, they're out of love or they don't. Or they're bored or they're tired. I don't think it's that. It's just you have exhausted the possibilities. Now you need to dig back in your book and see what else you can do. I just thought that. Y'all know the quote. I don't really know it. But I know I, I heard it. You, have no, you ever been not in love saying with the truth is like saying of. sorry for being you or something. Have you ever been in love with someone that you're scared of? No. <laughs> um, That's my song. Question six. Describe what love is to you. Love is the unconditional and inevitable feeling of happiness. You can be in love with your dog. You can be in love with the person. You can be in love with your parent. You can be in love with your child. Love is just a overwhelming feeling, like just to have the moment, like wow, I am really so deeply in love with this person that, like, I would do anything for them. I would do anything for them. I would go to any lengths. Like, it's just it's an overwhelming feeling to almost like you're not yourself, like out of body experience like it's magic like i felt love before in different forms and i mean it it beats pain it beats heartache it beats tired you could be tired and just think about that one person it'd be like i ain't even tired no more love to me what's love is never think? having to say a sorry that's another quote from a movie i don't know but that's kind of true. It's never having to say sorry. Basically saying that being yourself and that person's going to love you flaws and all. I don't understand. You get what I'm saying? Like your mom. Your mom knows it. mostly if you have the same kind of relationship as I do with my mom. Mostly everything about you. Your triumphs, your troubles, your good times, your yeah, bad times. Virus. 
your times where you wasn't the best person in the world, the time where you yeah, was the best person in the world, and your mom will literally love every she inch will of accept you it. That's and love. accept it. I feel like I'm that is love. love. Like when a person can love you, flaws and all. And want to be near you, and want to be with you, and want to and express their love to you. you. That's love. And I mean, I just think it's never having to say you're sorry for being yourself. Like we we know that you did wrong. We know that you was untrue. Oh, uh, we we know that you you've had some bad times. We know that you have some good times. But I love you. Thanks. Period. And I I never want to see you in pain. I never want to cause you harm. Period. And it's something that you cannot help. Are you getting overwhelmed? No. Like, your mom cannot help. E probably even, even if she tried. She couldn't help it. Right. I think that's what love is. Flaws and all. Good times, bad times. And, and not even for that person. What you go through in everyday life. Because some people will let bad things that happen around them break that, the person that they love apart. Was it really love then? You have to think about it like that. Because if you can accept that person flaws and all, they good and bad. So why when good and bad happens in a world, you let that tell you apart? Right. That's what love is too. When anything go wrong, y'all could be broke together, y'all could be rich together. But you love that person. So that's what I feel. And love is kind when the world is cold. Love stays strong when the fight gets old. Oh, love. I was doing Chris at Michelle and you just turned into Keisha. Keisha is too loud. Um, so yeah. Uh, question number seven. Have you ever been in love? Yes. With whom? Was it a relationship love or like a family love? I told you. I, I said already I've been in multiple forms of love. So was it a relationship love? Yeah. At point? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in love? Are you in love right now? No. Yes you are. Are you? Are you not? Seriously not. Now that I'm thinking about what love is, like, I don't care. I can do without. I'm playing. I'm oh playing. Oh, my God. I was like, wait, because I don't want to get too deep. I, I thought we Delete to... this before I be with... I, before I have to say that, have you ever been in love with somebody you're scared of? Have you ever... Okay, hold on. Go it's back. It messed up. Just go back. But, yeah, I've, I've been in love before. And love is not something okay. that you can just say that you've been in love with everybody. Number 12. Yes, yeah. a lot of people claim that I was in love with this person. Right, and then they go with somebody Maybe else and you like, were infatuated. I never knew what love was. Maybe you were infatuated. Maybe you were in deep light. So how do you know that you are not Maybe in deep light? Maybe you cared about that person because you know that you're in love. I know I'm in love. <laughs> Shut up. With my dog, Levy. I'm, <gasps> I'm in love with Levy too. Like I love. Levy. You are definitely. I'm in love. like like. Unconditional love with love you. Unconditional. But I'm in love, yeah. Like, she's not leaving her alone. What's the difference between being... Because the thing about why I think I'm in love... Because you have to think about it. If, say, you were, you and that person was to break up. Say maybe they cheated. Say maybe something happened. And you get to this space and you're like, were you in love with that person? You know how you, you always be like, or say if you was to get with somebody new and you were to be really be in love with them. And you know how, like you were saying, you'll be like, I never knew what love was. I wasn't really in love. Mm -hmm. When I think towards the future and I think if maybe when something happens, something, he cheats or whatever, I couldn't be I couldn't be like, oh, I wasn't really in love. I was just da da da. I'd be like, I got played, but I, I was yeah, in love. Yeah, my feelings is hurt because I really love But it. I still was in love. Right. So that's how I feel. But and anyway, this is kind of the same. We just kind of answered this. What's the difference between being in love, number eight, what's the difference between being in love with somebody and having a crush? We just kind of answered that. Answer that. Um, and number nine, what is your love language? Click it. Because I don't know what that means. <sighs> Who does? I don't know. Okay, so how about this? Y'all write down in the comments below and y'all tell us what y'all love language is because we don't know what it is, so teach us something new. Next question. Does looks matter in love? No. Honestly. You have to be attracted to the person. You can't, if you think somebody's butt ugly and you can't, you can't stand to look at them, that's when it matters. Like you should never be with somebody that you like, 
That's not the question. No, it said, it does looks matter? And if I'm sitting next to you and I'm like, God damn, like you're ugly as shit. You trying like, to play me? No, if I'm looking at you like, God damn, I, like honestly, you're ugly as shit, I don't want to touch you. I, honestly, I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be intimate. Then no, it matters. But looks doesn't matter in love if you're I with that person. I honestly believe that looks definitely do matter. And when I say that, I say this. Right, at the end of the day, we all do have a preference. Sometimes we get in situations where, oh my God, this person that I never thought that I would talk to, you know, comes my way and I've fallen deeply in love with this so person. So how does it matter? So, sometimes that happens. So how does but it never, matter? No, never, per, never pursue someone too deep without having some type of attraction because that's that, what I say. No, I never. Like I'm, not dis- I'm not disagreeing oh. with. I'm not disagreeing with you. I was just well, starting. Preference doesn't matter. I'm starting off, but I'm starting off with looks do matter. Presence. That's what I'm preference saying. Preference doesn't matter. You can like looks a red matter. bone, a chocolate, and you can end up with a whole. That's not the question. No, no, because that's what you said. You said at the at the, at the beginning of what you said. You said everybody has a preference. It doesn't matter. That should never been said. No. It don't matter if you have a preference. It don't Every, matter. I'm talking the about as far as no. I'm, I'm talking you about when you're in love. No, I'm saying when you pursue someone. Don't pursue them for any... When you first see somebody, that's the first thing you see. Don't pursue them for anything else other than what you see. Because you will be going... You will be, go, you will be going into it for all the wrong reasons. If you saw this if you saw this man or whatever, and you didn't like the way he looked or whatever, but he had buku money, why would you even no, walk over to him? Because no, you want the money. But that's different. So say, a, that's say, look. say it's money. No, say it's money. It could be anything. Because if I saw somebody that I didn't think was the most attractive person... But they came up to me and they had a good heart. I if would they not. Came up to you, I said if you pursue a person, that well, the only person we say the same you thing. pursue a person is if you feel it in your chest, if it's love at first sight, or if you see that they're what you like. That's what I'm saying. Never walk up to someone when you physically see someone. Like if you saw a man in the store and he had three children, don't walk up to him because you like children and you think he's family oriented. That's un- that's not true. I don't oh, feel like no. that's true. Mm-hmm. I feel like the only the only case that would be true in is if they if you are talking about money. But if if you how you gonna tell somebody if that's one of the characters they like in a person they really like in a person. I really would like somebody that I'm with to be family oriented to love I know, their but children. You would never and walk I and, up to them. And I would say, well, hey, how are you? But doing? he was hideous. No, if he, like I said, if that person is hideous to the point where you can't stand to look at him, then no, because nobody can be with somebody that, that they can't matter. stand to look at. I didn't say it didn't matter. What I'm I know saying, saying is, the same thing. what I'm saying is, don't tell nobody to don't go to the person unless they physically find them attractive. Because some people can be less attractive, but don't ever, if, unless that person, not, what I'm saying, unless you are totally repulsed by that person, then don't. But if if they're less attractive than what you would normally go for, no. Because when you, you could find somebody less attractive and get to know certain qualities, qualities can make a person attractive. It's not all about what's on the outside. I never said that. I said pursuing someone. Saying. Pursuing the, someone. Listen, that's not what the question asks, though. Looks matter. If you what see I'm somebody saying looking is, at them. when you in love, you can be in love at 80 years old. They ain't looking the same. It's things that they do, and it's At things. At that point, you wouldn't no, have to know them. No, cause some people may be seventy years old and in, in, in love. That's not. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is, looks doesn't always matter. So do they these, matter or not? This, I don't think they do. Okay. Like I said, in, unless you're completely repulsed by a person, you can't even kiss them or show them intimacy. That's different. Because let's not act like no. physical attraction doesn't have something no, to do with it. No, physical these. attraction do. But what I'm saying is, when you when you 70 years old in love, and you done went through menopause as a woman, and you dried out, and when you done went through whatever as a man, and you can't get up no okay, more. Okay, we talking about initially, No, what, listen to initially, what I'm saying, though. You can't base that off of looks. Because your face drops, your edge That's, drops. Are we talking your about body, wait, initial? Your edge drops, your body drops. So what I'm saying is, don't always go for somebody and looking for. Oh, this is the most attractive person I've. I seen. never said that. Like I said, would you less, walk up to a 70 year old man? If I was a, if I had some attraction, and if he didn't Looks totally matter. 
No, I'm saying if you he can totally to repulse me, then no. But if he was attractive, if, that means if, if a seventy-year-old man was attractive and it was something to think you, so. you would walk up to you would approach him. I don't think him. so because you gotta look. You got I first of all, I don't go for old men. So that's, that's not what I asked. I asked. Ask, what you say? If you saw an old, if you saw a seventy-year-old man, yeah. Would you walk up to him? If I wasn't totally repulsed. That's my answer. Okay, so that means that he is you attracted to him in some type of way. You wouldn't just walk up to a 70-year-old exactly. man just because but he's But you cannot 70. say his looks are attractive. Some people are not cute but at what all. What would you be attracted and to? Their, their persona, the way they walk, the way they carry themselves, the confidence they have in them. So, he so my a, thing so is... So the 70-year-old man got a nice walk. Yes, I'm, he could have a nice two-step. Y'all don't listen to Michael because he ain't got no for the wrong person. In the video. What I'm saying is, when y'all when y'all are older and when y'all in love, sometimes somebody could look so good to you in the beginning, and the more you with them, certain things change. Do you not as attracted to something as before? What I'm saying is, don't always look for looks. They have qualities that a person has that can be attractive. That. So no. unless you're not attracted to the person's exterior or exterior, no. But as far as does looks matter, I don't think they matter. They do. They because do. you can have the cutest person. It's nothing. That, it's, bitch that is not right. about. It's not about getting. Okay. Deep. It's not about getting. Let me tell you. It's okay. not about. No, this is what I'm saying. It's not. But about, don't be completely repulsed by that person. It's not about getting deeper. It's not, it's not, is it's not about. Love, it's not so. about neglecting the deepness that can get into it. We understand that it gets deeper than looks. We know it gets deeper than looks. Okay, so but it's the not question about was. So it's not about looks. Look, it don't do matter. Looks, it don't matter. It don't matter. Because a person face might not attract you, but they, the way that person carry themselves, the way that person act with their kids, like you said, a look that is can not make... just a face. A look, it could be overall. Michael, they said do looks. They be do that person exterior, the exterior part. That's the exterior, what they asking. That could be their body. Exactly. Don't always go for the face and body. It could be the My, person's qualities. How would you know about the person's qualities before you saw them? Step in the room and you could feel their, their essence. Okay, you're right. Some people could you're open right, up. And I could, I'm wrong. I could catch you at a party and not think you the cutest person in the world and be like, uh, you know, you keep making I'm not attracted. You keep making examples. I'm not necessarily. You keep making the, examples. I don't about necessarily how, have this pool of attraction to you, but I could say, damn, here's a life for the party, and I could start smiling and I could start giggling and say, well, <laughs> damn, I want to talk to them. Looks don't matter. That's the end of it. I hope y'all like this love tag. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell one time. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at underscore the potential underscore. But I won't like you with that attitude. And follow us I'm on Snapchat at the potential two, the number two. We want to <laughs> chat with all you. He be having me raise my voice. I need to drink because tea. I gotta get in the booth. You have to be right about everything, and it's not. You're not I'm, right about this. I'm, I'm. I may not be right about when everything, but I'm definitely you right about them. At him it don't and matter. You were that was in that case. Him. That was in that case. That was like in I every said, case of a boyfriend no. issue. No! It wasn't! <laughs> <laughs> bitch, let me let you know. I'm speaking from experience, bitch. <laughs> it wasn't the case and everything. My name is Mike. My name is Kate. And we and are. It wasn't the case. And we are, and, and we are the, the potential. potential. We out.